Hello and welcome to another computer animation tutorial. This time we are going to be animating a character's face uh, blinking and kind of an exclamation of can't believe what they see. Um, we'll add later uh, some mouth expressions and some other details, but for now we're just going to focus on drawing the face and adding the blinking movement of the eyes. So starting a new document in Adobe Animate, we'll go ahead with choose action script 3 for now. Um, and we're going to start by creating the layers for this project. So if we look at my example, I had five layers, the background, head, eyes, nose, and a mouth. So we will do five layers to start. First layer will be our background. Second layer will be the head. Layer three, we can make the eyes. Four, we will turn into the nose and five can be the mouth. <clears throat> Alright, so um, starting our drawing off, um, we can go ahead and just start by drawing on our head layer, or we might as well chalk in the background for now. Um, and what I was going to have us do is use a fill that is a gradient fill for this background. So if you go ahead and draw a rectangle that goes all the way across your stage, and then uh, select your rectangle and go to your color uh, palette up in the top right corner. We'll go ahead and just choose radial gradient from the menu in here. And the gradient I had before was this kind of a red tone. Maybe I'll switch it up just a little bit and maybe have kind of like a greenish or bluish color. And just the slider bar to where you feel good. Um, I like to have a light color. I think you should choose a light color or a white in the middle. Um, you may need to slide your uh, intensity bar up here on the side up in order to get a light color and then a dark color uh, on the edges. Kind of making a spotlight effect if you will. Alright, so that's enough of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and lock that background layer to keep it from moving and go ahead on to drawing a, a uh, oval shape for our face. So I'm going to go ahead and choose kind of a peach skin tone for my character and draw an oval right about in the middle of the stage, taking up a decent amount of space, not too much, but just enough. Alright, so what we're going to actually use to adjust the size and shape of this face is the sub selection arrow. So when I click on uh, this oval, it gives me some anchor points around the edges that I can actually kind of tweak and pull and I'm going to just pull each of these points in a little bit to kind of make this almost a peanut shape uh, for my face. And that looks pretty good. So the other thing I'm going to have to add is I will add some ears. And if you select your brush tool and you still have the same color selected for your skin tone, you shouldn't need to uh, change your skin tone at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw some ears on here with the brush. That end up a little big. I'll try a little bit uh, smaller this time. It's kind of just like a little half circle along the edge. You know what? I'm going to actually zoom in here so that I can see this a little more clearly. Now, let's take this. I'm going to up my brush size just a tad. Oh, you know what it is? Is my brush shape has been changed. So my brush shape was making that a little thin. So I'm going to go ahead and make that my brush instead and draw a couple of ear shapes on either side of the face here. There we go, and fill those in with my fill bucket. Um, it seems unhappy with the gaps, so I'll just brush a little bit more here, and then hopefully, well, maybe just a little bit more brushing. Uh, and there we go, okay. so. Ears are filled. Uh, the last thing we need on this head layer is going to be some hair. So we'll go ahead and choose maybe a darker color. Um, I'm going to choose a brown, dark brownish color for my hair. And just kind of draw it around the top of the head. Coming down in front of the ear just a bit. And then actually cutting across about halfway across the forehead and then making this kind of fill up to the top and then going ahead and using my fill bucket to kind of fill in these spaces. Now I'm going to need to brush over that black line a little bit that's left over from my other uh, shape. So I'll just take my brush tool and kind of brush right over that black line. 
All right, so again, all this should have taken place on this head layer, and now what we're gonna go into, uh, we could lock that as well as we kind of move up here, and we can now go into the eyes. So we're really just gonna draw one eye, and then what we'll do is actually flip it and reverse it in order to create a second one. Okay, so my fill color is, I'm actually going to change to white as I draw this oval here. And I will draw one oval and then change my fill color to black. And I'm going to draw a second oval that fits just inside of this one. And I can change the position of it if I want later too. Okay, so uh, the last thing I need to do is actually also I'm going to uh, brush an eyebrow above, but I would actually like it to uh, match the hair color. So I'm going to just do a little eyebrow action right there. All right, so what we're going to do with this eye is we're actually going to uh, select everything here and select everything on a layer. You can click on the keyframe that it's on and it should select everything. We're going to turn that into a graphic by pressing F8 on our keyboard. And so we're going to call that eye. And actually what we can do is we can, um, we can copy this by right clicking and then we can paste, uh, paste in place or paste in center. Um, and now we have a second eye. Okay, a second eye movie clip. Um, so what we're going to do also is just modify this and actually uh, flip it so that it's not going the same way. So we want to go to modify, transform, and we want to flip this eye horizontally. So that just flipped it around so now it's not quite going the same way. I'm just going to nudge it over a bit with my keyboard arrow key. And now what we can do is we will come back to the eyes, but we'll just go ahead up and brush on the nose and mouth really quickly. Kind of just keeping them simple. I'm going to change my brush shape for this, actually. So I don't want my nose to be too bold. Um, that works for a simple nose shape. And then for the mouth, again, I'm going to keep it kind of quick and simple. And just do kind of like a simple curve. Um, it's a little too bold. I want to make it just a little bit lighter. So maybe I'll just turn my brush size down a bit. All right, so that will work for now. Uh, maybe if you would like, you can go ahead and kind of uh, pencil in a tongue and then maybe fill in a bit. Let me change my fill color to a red and fill in the tongue. Okay, so now what we're going to do is jump back to those eye graphics that we made before. Um, all we need to do really is edit one of them in order to change both of them because they are both the same graphic. Uh, we just copied it over a second time. So anything we change within this eye graphic will change on the right side as well. Um, so really all we're going to do is just erase more and more of this eye to make it close and then open again. So we're just going to keyframe animate that. So if we're on this layer, we can just click F6 on our keyboard. And then I'm going to use my lasso tool. First, I'm going to click kind of off to the side here so that I don't have anything selected. And I'm going to just click and drag a line around the top of the eye to select that top part and press delete. And then I'm going to press F6 on my keyboard to create another new keyframe. I'm going to lasso around the top of this eye again and press delete. And then I'm going to press F6 again to add a fourth keyframe. And I want this eye to be pretty much totally closed on the fifth keyframe. So I'm going to delete that bit more. I want to press F6 one more time. This fifth frame is where we really want um, all the contents of the eye to be gone. So what I'm going to actually do is just click on these sections and delete them, leaving just that little bit of that black line. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is actually go back, I'm going to select all these frames, clicking on the first, holding shift, clicking on the last, right clicking, I'm going to copy those frames, go to the sixth frame here, right click again, and paste those frames. And then I'm going to reverse them. So select those as well right click and we're going to reverse those frames. So now what we should see if I scrub through this is we have the eye closing and then the eye opening again. Um, so if I click back out to my scene, what should happen is actually if I click on this eye as well, double click on it, you'll see that the timeline in there has also changed and it's doing the same thing. So let's give this a test. And what we'll notice is actually the eyes are not playing because 
we did not create them as uh, movie clips. We created them as graphics. So in order for a, uh, a movie clip, or in order for a, a clip to play, when we only have one keyframe open here, it needs to be a movie clip. So we're just going to change that in the properties bar over here um, and change that option to movie clip. And what it should actually do is, oh, it didn't do it to both. We'll have to actually do that to our other eye as well. So that would be something that we had wanted to have done earlier. But when I play this, you can see that it is uh, blinking. He's blinking really quick. And what we may want to do is change the frame rate of that. Um, and that maybe better around 18 or so. Test it again. And that's a little bit more realistic. So I hope that you uh, have lots of luck. And that's uh, pretty much a wrap with this assignment.